I'm Mar and today we're at a different place because we're in Miami. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know that. But we're here visiting my family, well visiting my sister and we try to come here every summer when she's off school because it's just a time that we get to spend together and I love it. I brought my grandma along, you guys know grandma. Basically, she lives with me. She stays with me for months at a time. And I'm so happy I get to be here while my sister is off school, but back to school is coming really fast, you guys. And that's why today we're gonna be doing a video with H&M. And you guys know I love H&M. And we went with them to Coachella. It was the best time ever. And it was just so much fun. But when I saw this back to school collection, you guys, I was like, <laughs> that is so me. Because it's very like clueless inspired. It's just so cute. And they have a lot of pink, but they also have like black. I just felt like the colors were very, very me so I really want to do a video about this but I also I don't know I was here with my sister and we're talking you know we talk a lot about like our past and stuff because I guess she's like the one that has really lived everything with me and I know I don't talk about that here too much just because it's not really like a positive thing and I like to be really positive with my videos you guys and we're just talking about this thing that happened at one of the schools I went to I last time I did the math I think I went to like 11 different schools it was pretty crazy school wasn't easy for me um and the reason why I changed school so much was not related to like me getting in trouble or anything like that but yeah I mean it's just one of those things that's really hard for me to even like think about because I had a hard time at school and this was a really hard thing that happened and I know I talked me a really valuable lesson. I know a lot of you guys are going back to school, so I just want to tell you guys what happened. But yeah, I also want to keep it positive with all this amazing and beautiful clothes. So the first thing that I saw on the website, and I was like, I'm taking this whole thing, was this entire look, and it comes with this kind of blazer, but it's really lightweight and it's really soft, so I really, really like it. It's weird because I feel like I don't own a lot of blazers, but just a few weeks ago, I was like, I need to get blazers. And then I saw this, and I was like, that's a totally cute look, so I feel like it looks dressy, but at the same time, it looks really cute. So I just thought it was really perfect for me, you guys. And the whole back to school collection, I feel like it has like a lot of flat and like very clueless. I loved, 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 loved this dress. It fits me a little bit strange, to be honest. So I got a size 12, and the H&M site recommended a size of 14 for me. And I was like, 14 and it's not really about the size it's just like i'm not used to getting a size 14 so i wasn't sure if i should get a size 14 so i ended up getting like 12 i got a 14 i got a 10 i got an 8 i got a lot of stuff and honestly i feel like everything fits me it just fits me differently this dress i love how it fits me i just wish like i could cinch it in at the waist and i feel like i should but i have that problem with like literally everything you guys i mean you guys when you've seen any of my videos talking about clothes you know like there's a problem for me I have this little t-shirt. I wish I would have gotten another one because their t-shirts are so freaking soft. I got this white one so soft. It's like seriously like a little cloud. I got this little strappy black one again so soft and then I got this other one which I absolutely love because it's just a black t-shirt and it has this little knot but the knot is on the back of it so you can kind of see like my back through it and the front looks really fitted so I have one that's just like this one but it has the knot in the front and you guys I kid you not it fits differently like it fits completely differently I don't know why I mean if you have the knot in the front I just feel like it looks more casual and this looks more dressy <laughs> if that makes sense and guys sorry the lighting is changing so much but Florida weather there's so many clouds I was just like we're gonna keep it moving, we're gonna do this because you know, it's gonna be a great day. But I feel like these things honestly are not necessarily like to wear in school. Cause I know like at least I had to wear a uniform in school, but I would wear this just like out after with my friends. Like this dress is so beautiful, so comfortable. And I, I really love like A-line dresses cause I feel like they're really flattering cause they make your waist look super small. This one, I got it in a size 10. I feel like this one I could have done an eight and it would have looked like even more like small, but they both fit and I love the material. It's super stretchy. This is like something you're gonna see me wearing all the time because it's just like this is very much my style but yeah in school i had to wear a uniform you guys and basically at every school i went to i had to wear a uniform because that's just like how things were in venezuela you had to always wear a uniform and i was always the new girl guys i was it was hard because there was one year where i was the new girl three times because I went to three different schools. So that was just something I was used to. And there was this one school where I went for a longer period of time. And I did not like that school, you guys. I didn't like the teachers. I didn't like anything. I remember I was there. Like I already knew the class I was with. And then the next year, a new kid came into the class. And since I already knew what it was like to be the new kid, I always liked to like the first day be like, hey, you know, this is like the class. and. Afterwards, we could like either stay friends or we didn't because I mean it depended on the person because I remember 
another thing that happened with somebody else where I was like also like introduced them and afterwards we were always like friendly but he wasn't like my best friend but this person I'm telling you about I'm gonna call him George so so George was new to school and the way things worked at that school was like the very first day every well every morning but the very first day was like a little bit weirder because everybody just got together like at a courtyard and then you had to like go with your class and then from there you would go to like your classroom so I always made an effort to be like oh hey because everybody like that knew each other was already kind of hanging around and there was somebody that was new they just didn't know what to do so I met him like that I was like the I think it was like the first person he talked to at that school we ended up becoming really close friends because I feel like we kind of had in common that we were kind of like outcast in a way we didn't like necessarily like the same things that everybody liked and he was really into magic I remember he did like card tricks and he also like read your palm and it was so cool because he was so into it and it was something that I mean we were kids you know how old were we maybe we were like 13 I think so yeah I think around 13 so it's not something that kids are usually into especially not back then and I also had like my own interest I was like really into like heavy metal and it was just not I don't know it was just something that I didn't really click too much with everybody else at the school even though I know them all and I love them because like I ended up going to school with them for a few years I just you know it just wasn't like I had a lot in common with my class and by the way <laughs> now that I said heavy metal I think one of the reasons why I love this dress so much because it's like this white dress but it has like all the buckles and it just feels like very rock to me <laughs> but at the same time like more chic because you know, I like to dress cute, but I thought this was very, very pretty. I got it a 10. I think I could have done an 8 also, but I'm happy I did the 10 because it feels so much more comfortable. So I'm just like living my best life. Just like I can really move in the dress. And I feel like that's literally like my closet where I have like a lot of like straps and buckles and metal and like black. But then I also have like a lot of pink stuff. Like this pink top I loved. It was so pretty. It's very flouncy. Is the word flouncy? I don't know how the word is flouncy, but I think that's the word. <laughs> And I paired it with this denim skirt and I got this denim skirt because I was like, I need it for Miami and I feel like denim skirts are just so useful, they're so comfortable, They, you can literally take them everywhere and I feel like they're a little bit better than denim shorts because I feel like denim shorts are like a little bit less dressy. But anyway, that was kind of like how we were in school. And my friend George, I feel, had a little bit of a hard time adjusting to the school. I mean, I had a hard time adjusting to every school, but I think it just made it a little bit extra difficult when you didn't necessarily have like the same thing in common with like the other boys and stuff like that. The other boys were like really into sports and in that courtyard they would play like sports and he never wanted to play those sports because he was just like he was just like an introvert like an indoor person he just liked his magic trick so he liked like magic just like oh i'm gonna do a magic trick on you but he also liked like the other type of magic and i found that fascinating i was really into it i was like yes tell me my future read my palm and i just i don't know why i had like this really vivid memory of him like with this little thing over my hand like a little pendant and he was like trying to tell me something. He was so focused on that and I knew that he really, really enjoyed it. And I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of annoyed. I was like, I'm annoyed at holding my hand up for you and you not saying anything. But I just, I just left it there because <laughs> he, he was into it and I just wanted him to feel comfortable, you know? But anyway guys, this happened. It's really hard. I don't really remember exact like time of the year it happened in because in Venezuela it's not like you can remember from your clothes because it's always the same weather. And that's how I remember stuff for some reason. <laughs> but I knew that even though we were close friends, we hung out, he did like the card tricks for me and stuff. And we had like another like two friends that were not as close to him, but they were also like kind of like in the group I would say and I always felt like he still wanted like acceptance like he wanted to just be like part of like the cool kid or just like part of the cool group which was kind of strange because my school was really really small so there wasn't like one cool group it was just like everybody kind of like knew everybody but there was for sure like I guess here you would call it, like the jocks so I just played more sports and stuff like that I never really paid much attention to it to be honest with you guys because I I guess because I was a girl, because this was mostly like a boy thing. Girls, like the girls in my school weren't really athletic at all. So I always knew that he kind of like tried to fit in with them because he would do like little things here and there where he would just like, when they were like talking and he would like go up to them and talk. And the people in my school, it was weird. So they weren't like super mean. They wouldn't tell him like go away or something, but they would just kind of like visibly be like, okay, you know, we don't want to talk to you. And that hurts. That's hurtful for a person, especially for like, a teenager at new school. It's just something that's hurtful. So one day we were at this courtyard and in my school they were really into soccer. I feel like everywhere they're really into soccer in Latin America, but they were really into soccer. And they had like these things, like they were ginormous, but they used for soccer, so they had two. 
and you would just like throw the ball in there and like you would score but they were made out of metal so we were in this courtyard and I remember it was after school so basically when school ended everybody stayed in that courtyard just waiting to be picked up by their parents or by their bus or whatever it was so there was a lot of people there and for some reason they decided that <laughs> what they were gonna do with these things was like get on them and like hang from them so people were like hanging like this they were just like doing like stupid things, stupid things that kids do. So and I walked myself to school so I didn't have to wait for anybody to pick me up. But I remember I went to say bye to my friend George because I was just like, bye, I'm leaving, bye. And he kind of wasn't paying attention to me because he was just like with the boys, just like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, like hang from here and do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, fine, it's normal. So I went to, I feel like I went to do something else because I didn't leave immediately. I don't know if I went to get my sister or if I went to like pay for something, but I went to do something. And all of a sudden I see my friend George at the very top of this thing. I'm gonna insert a picture of you guys so you guys know like the shape of it. But at the very top of this thing, I see him and he's like kind of like sitting there and I was just like oh my god because he was a really very very skinny I mean he wasn't athletic like at all <laughs> so I was like oh my god how did he get up there and at this point there were people from different classes and different grades because it was just time to leave so everybody was there together so people were like cheering him on and his face he was like so happy I remember his face he was just like living his best life up there and I was kind of like oh my god that's so stupid why are you doing that just because I've never been I know it sounds weird because of what I do on YouTube, but you guys have to remember I started YouTube a really long time ago and when I started YouTube, it wasn't what it is now, but I've never been like a person that likes attention. I've never been a person that wants to be like the middle of everything. I'm a big introvert. I'm pretty chill. I'm pretty laid back. And that's kind of what YouTube was back in the day. Just like people talking to the cameras because they didn't really have anybody else to talk to. <laughs> like about the clothes. Oh my God. I started getting into the story. I forgot to show you guys the rest of the clothes. So, I got this dress too, and this dress is so cute. I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot in Miami because I love those dresses you can just like put on and like really quickly, just like be out the door. <gasps> these pants, okay, so these pants were the size 14 that I got, and they're a little bit big on my waist, but they're perfect on my butt, and they're so comfortable, and they're so pretty. I feel like this is one of my favorite purchases after this whole outfit, because they're just like the most comfortable thing ever. It feels like pajamas, but they look really dressy. They're so beautiful. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And I also got this jacket because I always like to have like a little jacket and I love this color. It was pink and it has like, it can cover you from the rain. So like, it's perfect. And if you're going into school, I feel like it's really good to have one of these because you never know. I feel like it gets like cold inside, hot outside. It rains, it doesn't rain. So it's just like you have like a lot thing that you're always like secure in. I don't know. I had that. I had like a little sweater when I was at school and I just like felt it really good when I put it on. I also got this backpack. I loved it. They had different backpacks, but this one I love the size. It's like, see, it's not too big, it's not too small. Obviously, it's not like to bring stuff or school in, but it's just for like every day. But yeah, anyway, so that's what I like to do. Obviously, not when I was 13. I didn't start making videos when I was 13. Although I did have like some little things I did online. I had like a fake radio show when I was like seven, so I've always been into like talking to myself. <laughs> But now I talk to you guys. But anyway, so I saw my friend and I think he just really wanted to be accepted and I think it was so messed up that he couldn't be accepted just for being who he was that he felt like he had to be like this other person, like this person who was like athletic and could like go up on this thing. I mean, he never, when I knew him, he was never really into sports. He was never really into anything physical. So it was just kind of messed up and I hope kids now are better about that. I hope they're kinder. I hope they're just nicer than what they were to him because I mean, I feel like most people just didn't see him, you know, they just like kind of ignore him and that's what he wanted. He wanted to be seen and I totally understand that. So he was like sitting up there and then for some reason, I don't know why, since he was sitting, he decided to like hang. So he started hanging upside down. He was like hanging from there. And so he was like in the air. This thing was pretty big. It wasn't like ginormous, but it was pretty big. So he was hanging and he was up from the floor. It was not like he was hanging and touching the floor. No, he was hanging, he was up from the floor. And he could even like put his arms down, you know, he was pretty high up. So he was hanging there and people were like, yay, awesome, you know, cheering on him. And I was just kind of watching from afar, just like, what is he doing? And I will never forget this. I will never forget his face in the moment that this happened. So I guess that his legs just weren't strong enough and they just like gave out and he fell. And I remember his face in the moment that he fell, he was, it was just like a really scared face. And we were all scared because he had fallen. Everybody remember, everybody like rushed around him. And teachers came up and 
now that I think about it, I'm like, why did they let him do that? Because there were teachers around, but they were just like not paying attention. And they were telling everybody to go and like to make room for him and like that he was fine. And honestly, I couldn't even see him. I don't remember what it was that I was doing because it was, was years ago. But I just remember like trying to look in the crowd like, is he okay? You know, what's happening to him? And I couldn't because there was just so many people and the teachers were like, everybody move, whatever, whatever. And they called an ambulance that came to pick him up and they just took him. And for the longest time, I didn't know what was happening because he didn't reply to any of my messages. It was a different time. It's not like I could stalk his mom on Instagram. I just didn't know what was happening. And it was weird because he didn't come back to school and the teachers told us like he got hurt pretty bad. So I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe he like broke his leg or something and he can't come to school. My school had a lot of stairs. And then one day he came back to school and he was in a wheelchair and he didn't even come back to the classroom. He was just in the school. I think they were like taking him out of class because he really physically couldn't be at that school because there was no way to get around the school that had too many stairs. And I remember I saw him kind of from far away, but he didn't want to talk to anybody. And obviously it hurt my feelings, but that's not what mattered at the point. You know, it's just like he was in the wheelchair. So our teachers weren't like the best. They didn't like really explain anything to us. They didn't really tell us anything. They were just kind of like, oh yeah, I mean, that's what happened. But it was really bad. And there were a lot of things that were bad that happened at that school. I don't know if it was like built in some like weird grounds or something. And yeah, that's how it happened. Honestly, it's really hard to find words on what to say. I don't really know what was going through his head. I just know what I had lived with him and this is why, like this is what I know from what happened. This is like what I saw, this is what I lived. But obviously I can't tell you guys this, like his story because that's not a story for me to tell. But yeah, it's just difficult because he was my friend and I knew him and then to see him doing that, it was just, I think because he just wanted to be accepted. I just think it was like a little bit of peer pressure and if anybody takes anything from the story what i hope you take is to be you accept you for you there's people that are gonna love you for being you and you don't need to try and be what other people think is cool be like what other people think is funny or like so they'll try and like you because those people are really not worth your time but what happened to him is so sad it's so heartbreaking he was so young and it was just for what for acceptance for a little while i understand how he felt i understand why he did what he did and obviously none of us knew like that could happen but it's just a really sad thing all around so anyway guys if you're going back to school even if you're not just remember be you because you are absolutely amazing but yeah that's it for today's video i feel really sad now <laughs> So that's why I was like, let's try and make it somewhat happy with clothes. <laughs> Beautiful H&M clothes. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.